It's work on an aging 80 year old bridge that officials say can't wait. So everyone else will in traffic. For how long is going to be like this? You don't know Two that? Two and a half years. What? Oh my God. It's, it's going to be a mess. It's very tough already. It takes like an hour and a half for me to get in the city. As part of the $90 million project, Friday night, two lanes were taken out of service, one in each direction on Route 495. It's a four and a half mile long major artery connecting traffic to the Lincoln Tunnel. The New Jersey Department of Transportation is recommending drivers take NJ Transit buses, which will have their own lane during the morning rush. But for the evening rush hour, you're stuck, and NJ Transit will not cross honor train tickets. The DOT is also suggesting the ferry, but a one way trip during a weekday from Weehawken Terminal is 13 bucks. Not to mention, you have to pay 16 bucks to park there for the day. It's kind of expensive. If you get it monthly, it's like 360 round trip. The New York City ferry is like 275, so it kind of sucks that ours is so expensive. New York City will feel the extra congestion too. The Office of Emergency Management sending out an alert Friday night to prepare for crosstown traffic delays near the Lincoln Tunnel. In New York City, I mean, you cannot. You cannot complain. It's traffic no matter what you do. Due to the project, all FedEx offices in the city have moved up the deadline a half hour to 8.30 p.m. for customers to drop off overnight deliveries. Shipments typically are driven to Newark Airport via 495. The advice from New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy? Let's all take a deep breath and we'll get through this together. And believe it or not, another recommendation from the state to avoid all this, just work from home. But for those of us who cannot do that and need to drive, you can also take the Holland Tunnel, the George Washington Bridge, or drive through Staten Island. We're live on 495 in North Bergen, New Jersey. Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.